Nestled in the heart of downtown is a neighborhood whose goal is to become the epicenter of the arts in Greater Miami. However, this little-known area wasn't always so chic. Wynwood is known for its racial tensions, poverty, and this year alone, holding the record for the highest crime rate in Miami. Then begins the story of how this neighborhood continues to grow into an up-and-coming, well-respected arts district. Meet John de Weatherington, director of the Pan American Arts Gallery. After entering the gallery business from an anthropology background, she chose to make the move to Miami in December 2006. We opened the gallery in Dallas about 10 years ago, and when we opened, we started doing art fairs regularly here in Miami. Because we work with so much Latin American art, particularly Cuban art, we found that most of our clients were actually Miami-based, so it was just kind of a natural transition for us to come here. While Jonda could have chosen to open her gallery in the more expensive and already established design district, she opted for something different. We spent about a year with a lot of trips back and forth looking at different neighborhoods. We had initially looked at Coral Gables, which was the kind of the traditional neighborhood for galleries and for galleries focused on Latin American art, but we felt like that venue was a little bit too traditional because we work with a lot, um, many more contemporary artists. So Wynwood at that time was just starting to develop and there were a lot of galleries that were moving here. So we researched which streets and ended up, after looking at several spaces, ended up um, acquiring this space. While opening an art gallery in Wynwood sounds like it would be a good idea today, it was more of a risk a couple of years ago. It's definitely much rougher around the edges than it is now. Um, and that created a little bit of hesitance at first, but then we kind of tried to look at it as looking at the way that a neighborhood like Chelsea developed in New York. So we kind of had a vision of where this neighborhood would go and what it would become, and that kind of gave us the courage to decide that it was okay. I mean, it's still kind of, it's, it's an exciting neighborhood to say the least, but it really is much more docile than it seems uh, when, when you look at it for the first time. David Lombardi, who owns 40 properties in the area, agrees. This is a neighborhood of nondescript facades with cherry filling. And you really have to get out of your car and go into the spaces to understand what's in these buildings. When I came here in 2000, there were two art galleries. Today, there's over 85 art galleries. Wynwood had a spectacular opportunity to further develop its reputation when Art Basel came to Miami. Art Basel is an international art show held yearly in Switzerland. It has been referred to as the Olympics of the art world. Beginning in 2002, the art fair expanded with a show in Miami Beach every December. In less than 10 years, the Miami show has surpassed its European counterpart in size, popularity, and perhaps even importance. Miami's event is attended by almost 40,000 people every year, and Wynwood was on display. I think to a certain extent, Art Basel has been the impetus for a lot of galleries like myself moving to Wynwood. I think that Wynwood was already kind of on that trajectory to become a place where galleries came. But with the offering of having for 10 days out of the year this tremendous exposure to all of the people that Art Basel brings in, I think that it's affected Wynwood to the extent that a lot more galleries come here. Wynwood also drew visitors to the area with their Gallery Night, a massive exhibit the second Saturday of every month. I think Gallery Night was a way to get people who would, again, otherwise feel a little bit uneasy and uncomfortable about coming to this neighborhood, particularly at night. Um, there's kind of protection in the masses, and so we all decided to have our openings the same night so that we would have kind of a cross uh, culture, cross filtration of our different clients. And it creates a sense of security because you come out here on gallery night and there are thousands of people on the street. Since gallery night began, it has gotten bigger and more successful every month. Now hundreds of people walk the streets visiting the galleries during these events. Gallery night had already begun before I moved here three years ago, but obviously, I mean, at that point, there were kind of, the galleries were few and far between, so it wasn't as much focused on foot traffic and people walking around, so much as people would hop in their car and go from gallery to gallery. So it's definitely grown into a much more, like, pedestrian-friendly environment. Many of the art appreciators that come to Wynwood for gallery night enjoy it for the different types of artists it brings in. Years ago when I first lived in Miami, the big art scene was in Coral Gables. It was highly um, Hispanic, lots of Latin American art, and I think by moving the gallery scene to Wynwood, we're drawn to a lot more younger artists and a lot more international scene here. This was, actually this is one of the best galleries here in Wynwood. You know, it has a lot of contemporary artists, uh, very underground 
you know, not your mainstream kind of art. So it's really cool, very interesting. The increase of the arts in the area helps to bring in more businesses and make it more pedestrian friendly. Now the streets are often scattered with security officials monitoring the streets. A change that is welcomed, but something more can be done. I'm not sure if they have done anything for the neighborhood because if you go here during the week on other nights, you don't want to be here. It's definitely made the neighborhood a lot safer. Um, we have restaurants coming in and hopefully like more cafes and things will start to show up. It has affected it in a positive way. Uh, I think, you know, I've been coming here to this Wynwood area in the design district before, you know, art galleries and you couldn't walk through the neighborhood. You know, there was maybe like one or two design furniture stores. Uh, soon enough, you know, galleries started popping up and it sort of made, you know, the neighborhood more chic and better for other types of, uh, like, for example, restaurants or clubs or bars, you know, to come into the neighborhood and open shop, you know, so it's become, like, very cool, you know, sort of like a Soho kind of a, a vibe, you know, I'm very impressed. Uh, they always have an array of different, you know, type of art, whether it be photography or uh, actual paintings or or sculptures, you know, and uh, ornate kind of environment, you know. Um, also, they have uh, art in things that you would never think of, you know, like glassware or actually uh, wood crates. I live in the downtown area, you know, so I also do art, you know, and fashion, so I'm pretty aware of, you know, the hip uh, areas around here, you know, and this is like the one now, you know, better than Coral Gables by far. One of the most noticeable projects in the neighborhood is the Wynwood Walls. They are outdoor murals on warehouse walls created by leading artists, both local and foreign. I think, it, ironically, it's actually helped before we had the like officially accepted graffiti and murals, we had a lot of tagging in the neighborhood. I mean, I would have to come out once a week and like cover up. There was a lot of, you know, graffiti and, and, and mess in the neighborhood. And I think that uh, people have started learning to respect the walls. It's been a way of taking the art out to the street because a lot of us live in, have these galleries in these cement boxes where you don't really get to see anything. So it's a way of, of saying this is who we are.